these are the natural wonders that haven't become tourist traps and visited by the masses. They are hidden gems that not many people know about. Join me for today's video. I'm uncovering the top 15 least known natural wonders. Starting with number 15, Lake Baikal. Lake Baikal, it's a rift lake in Russia. It's nestled between Irkutsk Oblast and the Republic of Buryatia in southern Siberia. With an area of over 12,000 square miles, it ranks as the world's seventh largest lake, larger than Belgium even. However, it stands out as the largest freshwater lake by volume due to that immense depth of 5,387 feet. And it contains about 5,700 cubic miles of water, roughly 20 to 23% of the world's fresh surface water, surpassing even the combined volume of all the North American Great Lakes. This ancient lake is 25 to 30 million years old. The lake stretches for 395 miles long and about 49 miles wide, and it's got the largest surface area of any freshwater lake in Asia. It's noteworthy for its exceptional clarity, particularly evident during winter when transparency can reach up to 130 feet. It's teeming with life. Despite the harsh climate, the area is inhabited by diverse flora and fauna, including endemic species. The region is also home to Buryat tribes engaged in animal husbandry in its eastern reaches, where temperatures can fluctuate between negative 2 degrees and negative 57 in summertime. It was designated a World Heritage Site in 1996. It remains a marvel of nature, cherished for its ecological richness and a lesser-known wonder of our natural world. Number 14. Ngorogoro Crater Ngorogoro Conservation Area in Tanzania has the Ngorogoro Crater. It's a colossal volcanic caldera. Amidst the crater highlands, this area has vast geological wonders, including the Olduvai Gorge, a pivotal site for paleoanthropology. The crater itself, a remnant of ancient volcanic activity, spans 2,000 feet and covers about 100 square miles. Its formation, dating back millions of years, epitomizes the area's geological significance. Despite its importance, it remains relatively obscure compared to more renowned natural marvels. It's tucked away in northeastern Tanzania. Its expanse is home to a diverse ecosystem and wildlife. Within the western boundary adjoining Serengeti National Park, witnessing the annual Great Migration where millions of animals traverse the savanna, it's a spectacle unique to this region. Within the crater, natural features like Lake Magadi and the Lorai Forest add to the allure. These habitats sustain a rich array of wildlife, including elephants, lions, and hippopotamus. However, the area faces challenges such as water extraction, impacting the delicate balance of its systems. The conservation area encapsulates a geological mosaic from volcanic calderas to expansive plains. While its inclusion in the seven natural wonders of Africa highlights its significance, the area remains lesser known, offering an opportunity for exploration and discovery amidst its beauty. Number 13. The Danakil Depression Nestled within the expanse of Afar Depression, Danakil is a deadly yet beautiful product of the Earth's tumultuous geological history. It's situated more than 330 feet below sea level. This desolate expanse was once submerged beneath marine waters, evidenced by remnants of ancient coral reefs and salty minerals. Today, it stands as one of the most inhospitable environments on the planet, with scorching temperatures averaging 94 degrees Fahrenheit and minimal rainfall, barely reaching 4 inches annually. At the heart of Danica lies Dalal, a volcanic marvel adorned with hydrothermal ponds and pools. It's a surreal landscape. It's painted in vibrant hues by volcanic chemicals, and it exudes an eerie beauty amidst the harsh surroundings. The air is thick with the pungent odors of rust, sulfur, and chlorine, assaulting your senses. Despite its extreme conditions, life does persist in the form of resilient microbes adapted to thrive in the most hostile environments. For scientists like Barbara Calavazzi, Dalal presents a unique opportunity for studying astrobiology, probing the limits of life on Earth, and offering insights into the potential for life beyond our planet. Whether teeming with microbial activity or devoid of it, the law holds profound implications for our understanding of biological constraints. In the annals of Earth's geological wonders, Dalal does stand as a testament to the resilience of life and the boundless mysteries of the natural world. Number 12. Kaitur Falls Nestled within the heart of the Kaitur National Park in Guyana, Kaitur Falls stands as a magnificent spectacle of nature, captivating visitors with its grandeur. Plunging 741 feet over a sandstone and conglomerate cliff, this single-drop waterfall commands attention with its sheer descent. But that's not all. As the waters cascade over a series of steep steps, the total height of the falls reaches an impressive 822 feet. And what sets it apart from other waterfalls is not just its towering height, 
but also its volume. With an average flow rate of over 23,000 cubic feet per second, Kaitur is among the most powerful waterfalls on the planet. To put that magnitude into perspective, it stands about four and a half times taller than the iconic Niagara Falls and twice the height of the majestic Victoria Falls. Its discovery by European explorers in 1870 adds a touch of adventure to this allure, with tales of Charles Barrington Brown and his intrepid exploration of the region. Yet the legend surrounding Kaitur adds an intriguing layer to its mystique. According to the Patamona Indian folklore, the falls were named after a chief named Kai, who bravely paddled over the edge as an offering to the great spirit Makonaima, saving his people from peril. However, another legend suggests a darker origin, involving an unpleasant old man who met his fate in the falls, giving rise to its name Kaitur, meaning Old Man Fall. Number 11. Valley of the Moon Wadi Rum, also known as the Valley of the Moon, stands as Jordan's largest valley. It's a testament to the country's diverse landscape. Its name, Wadi Rum, meaning sand valley in Arabic, aptly describes this unique terrain. Here, towering granite rocks and sandstone formations reach heights of up to 5,600 feet above sea level, creating a dramatic and otherworldly vista. Now, despite its seemingly inhospitable environment, Wadi Rum has been home to nomadic communities for centuries. Among them were the Nabataeans, who left behind traces of their existence in the form of temples, rock paintings, and graffiti, adding layers of history to this valley's rugged landscape. Wadi Rum gained further fame through the writings of Thomas Edward Lawrence, better known as Lawrence of Arabia, whose book The Seven Pillars of Wisdom immortalized the region. While uncertain whether Lawrence himself set foot in Wadi Rum, his descriptions captivate readers, and a rock formation was later named The Seven Pillars of Wisdom in honor of his work. Geographically, this area is dominated by Jabal Um Adami, Jordan's highest peak at over 6,100 feet, offering panoramic views of the Red Sea and the Saudi border from its summit. Jebel Rum, the second highest peak in Jordan, stands as another prominent feature, its rugged silhouette contrasting against the desert landscape. Kazali Canyon, with its ancient cave paintings, provides a glimpse into the region's rich cultural heritage dating back centuries. Amidst all this rugged terrain, there's home to Bedouin communities who have adapted to life in the desert, blending modern amenities with traditional ways of living. Efforts to cultivate crops in the desert, spearheaded by initiatives like the Wadi Rum Consultancy, showcase the resilience and ingenuity of those who call this extraordinary valley home. Number 10. The Smoking Hills Nestled along the Arctic Ocean in Canada's remote Northwest Territories, lies an otherworldly landscape that's puzzled and intrigued explorers for centuries. It's aptly named the Smoking Hills. These barren rocks streaked with vivid red stripes have been smoldering relentlessly for generations. The first recorded encounter with the Smoking Hills happened in the early 1800s, when Irish explorer Captain Robert McClure stumbled upon this surreal phenomenon during his quest to find the lost explorer Sir John Franklin. The sight of these fiery hills must have been both mesmerizing and terrifying to McClure and his crew, sparking speculation of volcanic activity. However, the true cause of the perpetual flames is far more subtle, yet equally fascinating. Beneath the surface, rich deposits of sulfur and brown coal lie dormant, waiting to ignite when exposed to the elements. As erosion gradually exposes these combustible materials to oxygen, spontaneous combustion occurs, perpetuating the burning cycle. Yet long before the arrival of European explorers, indigenous communities had known of these fiery hills, venturing to the area to collect coal. Even today, the nearest settlement, Palotok, which translates to place of soot or place of coal in the local language, serves as a testament to the enduring presence of this enigmatic natural wonder. Despite its remote location and harsh conditions, the smoking hills continue to captivate adventurers and scientists. As the flames dance perpetually amidst the Arctic chill, the smoking hills remains a testament to the enduring power and beauty of nature's fiery embrace. Number 9. Bracken Cave Bracken Cave, just outside San Antonio, Texas, is home to a remarkable natural spectacle, the largest colony of bats in the world. Each summer, an estimated 20 million Mexican free-tailed bats make their seasonal pilgrimage to this cavernous sanctuary, transforming it into a bustling hub of nocturnal activity. The cave's entrance, a crescent-shaped opening measuring 100 feet wide, lies at the bottom of a sinkhole. Owned and preserved by Bat Conservation International, along with 1,500 acres of surrounding undeveloped land, Bracken Cave serves a vital refuge for native vegetation and wildlife. 
Access to the cave is strictly regulated to safeguard the bat's habitat, but lucky visitors can experience the sight of millions of bats emerging at dusk on guided tours offered by Bat Conservation. From March to October, these winged marvels take to the skies, embarking on their nightly quest to feast on insects. Research conducted in 2006 revealed that these voracious insect eaters consume several tons of pests each night, providing an invaluable pest control service to cotton farmers in the region, saving millions of dollars annually. While estimates suggest a staggering population of over 20 million bats, the true number remains elusive. Legendary accounts from the past describe the emergence of the bats as a vast, sprawling cloud stretching miles across the sky. Despite urban encroachment, conservation efforts have secured the future of Bracken Cave and its inhabitants. In 2014, a landmark agreement between the city of San Antonio, local developers, and conservation groups ensured the protection of the bat's habitat and the preservation of the dark night skies surrounding the cave, safeguarding this ecological treasure for generations. Number 8. The Makarikari Pan Nestled within the arid expanse of northeastern Botswana lies the expansive Makarikari, a vast salt flat steeped in geological history and ecological significance. Once part of the ancient lake Makarikari, this salt pan sprawls across the landscape, punctuated by sandy desert expanses and interspersed with several individual pans, including the Soa, Tuetue, and the Zai pans. Stretching for over 6,200 square miles, this Makarikari is a relic of a bygone era, when it was a fertile expanse of lakes, rivers, and woodlands teeming with life. Today it stands as salty, dry crust bearing witness to millennia of evolution and adaptation. Despite the harsh climate, though, the pan experiences seasonal transformations, with periodic rains transforming this parched landscape into a vibrant oasis of water and grass. During these periods, the pans become a vital refuge for a myriad of bird and animal species, offering respite in an otherwise unforgiving environment. Today, the Makarikari remains a haven for wildlife, attracting migrating herds of wildebeests and zebras as well as a myriad of bird species. Protected areas within the pans, such as the Pans Game Reserve and the Nata Sanctuary, offer respite for these animals while also providing visitors with the opportunity to witness the beauty of this landscape. However, the pan does face threats from modern developments, including plans to divert water from the Nata River for irrigation and the impact of tourism on the fragile ecosystems. Despite these challenges, though, efforts are underway to preserve and protect the pan for future generations, ensuring that this remarkable natural wonder continues to inspire awe and wonder for years. Moving on to number 7, Chile's Marble Cathedral. Make your way through the rugged terrain of the Patagonian Andes, head for the water, and you'll see the marble caves of Chile. Situated on a peninsula of marble bordering the azure waters of Lake General Carrera, these caverns have captivated visitors for centuries with their beauty and timeless allure. Formed over millennia by action of ocean waves against calcium carbonate, the marble caves have undergone a transformation of staggering proportions. What once began as rough stone has been sculpted into a labyrinth of smooth, polished chambers and winding passageways. The result is a mesmerizing display of blues reflecting the cerulean hues of the water above and casting an enchanting glow upon the cavern walls. Yet for all its beauty, the marble caves face an uncertain future. The very forces that shaped them, the relentless action of erosion caused by waves, now threaten to undo that magnificence. With each passing year, the pillars of marble that support the caverns grow more fragile, their once sturdy foundations eroded by the ceaseless action. Without intervention, the collapse of these structures seems inevitable. It's a reminder of nature's impermanence. Despite the looming threat, though, the marble caves continue to draw visitors from around the globe. Their beauty stands as a testament to enduring power of the natural world. For nature lovers and photographers alike, these ethereal caverns offer a glimpse into a realm of timeless wonder where handiwork of millennia unfolds in a symphony of light and color. Number 6. Antelope Canyon Deep within the already stunning landscape of the American Southwest, Navajo Upper Antelope Canyon stands as a marvel of nature's artistry. It's carved over millennia by the relentless forces of erosion, this slot canyon, located on Navajo land east of Lechi, Arizona, offers a glimpse into a world of stunning beauty and timeless wonder. Rainwater, particularly during the monsoon season, rushes into this extensive basin above the slot canyon sections, carrying with it sand and sediment that gradually carve out the narrow passageways. Over time, the action of water has sculpted these corridors of the canyon into flowing shapes 
smoothed by the passage of the countless floods. The name for the Upper Antelope Canyon, meaning the place where water runs through rocks, speaks to the canyon's origins and the central role that water plays in its formation. Beams of direct sunlight filter down from openings at the top of the canyon, which create a spectacular display of colors, really in the summer months when the sun is high in the sky. Lower Antelope Canyon, known as Spiral Rock Arches by the Navajo, offers a different but equally breathtaking experience. Longer and narrower than its counterpart, Lower Antelope Canyon requires navigating metal stairways and ladders in certain parts, making it a more challenging hike. Yet the allure of Antelope Canyon is not without its risks. Flash floods, which can happen suddenly and without warning, pose a significant danger to visitors. In 1997, a tragic flash flood claimed the lives of 11 tourists in the Lower Canyon, serving as a reminder of the power of nature and the importance of caution when exploring these natural wonders. Number 5. Lake Natron Lake Natron beckons with an otherworldly allure that captivates your senses. It's located in the rugged terrain of Tanzania at the cusp of the East African Rift. This mystical body of water holds secrets as ancient as time itself. Lake Natrom is in a realm of contradictions, where beauty and danger intertwine in a dance. Fed by the mineral-rich southern Iwaso Nagiro River and heated by hot springs, its shimmering surface conceals a hidden realm of wonders and perils. At first glance, the lake's surface appears serene, but beneath the calm water lies a potent cocktail of Natron and Trona, casting a spell of alkalinity that defies the laws of nature. With a pH level surpassing 12, this lake's caustic embrace is known to petrify any creature that dares to venture too close. Yet despite that deadly reputation, it is a sanctuary for life in the harshest of environments. Endemic algae, invertebrates, and birds call it shores home, their tenacity a testament to nature's resilience. With the lake's rising salinity, cyanobacteria flourish, providing sustenance for these majestic creatures and fueling the cycle of life in this desolate realm. Lake Natron has captured the imagination of filmmakers and adventurers. Its enigmatic allure served as the backdrop for the acclaimed documentary The Crimson Wing, Mystery of the Flamingos, a testament to the enduring fascination with this primordial landscape. Number 4. Pamukkale Pamukkale is a sight to behold, a breathtaking tapestry of shimmering limestone terraces delicately sculpted over millennia by the mineral-rich waters. As sunlight dances upon its snow-white surface, the landscape transforms into a dazzling display of ethereal beauty, casting a spell of enchantment upon all who gaze on it. Ascending to heights of 535 feet, the travertine formations of Pamukkale unfold like an ancient citadel, whispering secrets of civilizations long past. At its summit lies the ancient city of Hierapolis, a testament to the enduring bond between humanity and nature. Here, amidst the ruins of an ancient empire, echoes of the past resonate with the present, weaving a tapestry of history and legend. But beneath its serene facade lies a geological marvel, a collection of hot springs each contributing to the formation of its legendary terraces. With temperatures ranging from 35 to 100 degrees Celsius, these mineral-rich waters bubble forth, carrying with them a bounty of calcium carbonate. For millennia, Pamukkale has drawn visitors from far and wide, each seeking solace in its healing waters and mystical ambiance. From the ancient Greeks to the Byzantine Empire, this sacred site has been revered as a sanctuary of healing and spiritual renewal, a place where the boundaries between the earthly and the divine blur into insignificance. Today, Pamukkale stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As visitors traverse its storied pathways and explore its ancient ruins, they become part of a timeless narrative, a journey through the annals of history and the wonders of the natural world. In the heart of Pamukkale, amidst the ruins of a bygone era, lies a timeless truth, a reminder of the Earth's enduring beauty and boundless grace. Here, amidst the cotton castle's ethereal embrace, one cannot help but marvel at the wonder of creation and the enduring legacy of nature's handiwork. Number 3. Salar de Uyuni Expanding across an astonishing 4,200 square miles, Salar de Uyuni emerges as a breathtaking expanse of natural wonder. This colossal salt flat, the largest on the planet, unfolds like a magnificent canvas adorned with intricate patterns formed by the crystalline salt. In this seemingly inhospitable terrain, life finds a way to thrive. Amidst the glistening salt formations, pink flamingos gracefully navigate these shallow pools, while ancient cacti stand as silent sentinels against the vast desert backdrop. 
Rare hummingbirds flit through the air, adding splashes of color to the snark landscape. During the wet season, which stretches from November to April, this place undergoes a remarkable transformation. Torrents of rainwater converge upon the desert, transforming this salt flat into a colossal mirror that reflects the boundless sky. The result is a surreal spectacle of infinite horizons where the line between the earth and sky blurs into oblivion. Amidst this ethereal landscape stands the extraordinary Hotel Playa Blanca. It's a testament to human ingenuity amidst the stark beauty of these salt flats. It's crafted entirely from salt bricks and mortar. Every aspect of this establishment, from its walls to its furnishings, embodies the essence of its surroundings. Now, Beyond the salt flats lie further treasures waiting to be discovered. Lagunda Colorata, with its crimson waters teeming with flamingos, captivates your senses with its fiery hues. Nestled at the foot of an imposing volcano mesmerizes with its ever-changing shades of blue and green. Fed by thermal springs and enriched by copper sediments, this azure oasis casts a spell of tranquility upon all who behold its beauty. As the sun sets over the salt flats, casting hues of gold and crimson across the horizon, visitors are reminded of the timeless majesty of the earth. In this remote corner of Bolivia, where the salt and sky merge in a symphony of light and color, every heartbeat echoes with the rhythm of the universe, inviting all who dare to dream to join in the dance of creation. Number 2. Yuncheng Salt Lake As summer descends upon Yuncheng Salt Lake in China's Shenzi province, a remarkable transformation unfolds. The serene waters of the lake, like a canvas awaiting the stroke of a masterful brush, burst into an astonishing display of color. From above, the lake resembles a vibrant painter's palette, adorned with streaks of magenta, verdant green, and shimmering aquamarine, captivating the imagination of all who behold its splendor. Beneath the surface, a timeless ritual unfolds, echoing footsteps of generations past. Millennia-old traditions come to life as laborers meticulously gather the crystalline remnants of evaporated water. These gleaming salt crystals, born from the alchemical dance of nature, have bestowed upon Yuncheng a legacy of cultural and political significance. Dubbed China's Dead Sea for its salinity, Yuncheng Salt Lake has long been the beating heart of the region's culture and economy. Stretching back through the annals of history, records indicate that for over 6,000 years, inhabitants here have harvested salt from these waters, with ancient artifacts hinting at an even more ancient legacy. By the 6th century, the lake's bounty accounted for a staggering one quarter of China's salt production, sparking conflicts over its possession and inspiring reverence in the form of sacred temples. Today, however, visitors flock to this salt lake, not to wage wars or pay homage to ancient gods, but to bask in the surreal allure of its landscape. In the summer months, the lake becomes a canvas for nature's artistry, as blooms of algae paint its surface with hues of iridescent brilliance. Come winter, the salt crystals transform into a glittering spectacle of mirabolite, casting the landscape in a frosty enchantment reminiscent of a fairy tale wonderland. In the delicate balance between tradition and progress, this place seeks to safeguard not only a cultural legacy, but also the rich ecosystem that is bestowed upon their land, an unparalleled natural splendor. Number 1. Mount Erebus Erebus, a name steeped in ancient myth, echoes with the primordial darkness from which it draws its essence. In Greek lore, Erebus, born from the divine chaos and Mother Earth herself, cast his shroud of shadows across the world, enveloping it in his cloak of eternal night. Today, that name finds its match in the towering presence of Mount Erebus, reigning as the most active volcano in Antarctica and the southernmost sentinel of volcanic fury on the planet. Its fiery heart pulses with a relentless fervor, crowned by a seething caldera boasting a scorching lava lake, a molten abyss churning at a blistering 1700 degrees Fahrenheit. Within this cauldron of fire lies a glimpse into the very bowels of the earth, a swirling pool of magma whose depths may plumb the very soul of the planet. But step beyond the confines of this infernal domain, and one is thrust into a stark world of unforgiving cold, the frigid embrace of Antarctic temperatures, tempered only by the azure sky, stands a stark contrast to the seething heat within. Discovered amidst the frozen wastes by intrepid explorer Sir James Clark Ross in 1841, Mount Erebus declared its volcanic nature with a furious eruption that painted the sky in flames. Its summit, christened Ross Island in homage to its discoverer, has since stood as a beacon of scientific inquiry, drawing adventurers and volcanologists alike. 
Yet amidst the awe-inspiring spectacle of its perpetual activity lies a somber reminder of human frailty. In 1979, the slopes of Mount Erebus bore witness to tragedy as an Air New Zealand DC-10, lost in a blinding whiteout, met its doom upon its icy flanks. The crash, claiming the lives of all on board, including the famed explorer Sir Edmund Hillary, left a mark upon the volcano's rugged facade. Today, the winds whisper tales of an ancient legend and modern tragedy. Mount Erebus stands a testament to the raw power of nature. Its volcanic bounty, measured not only in molten fire but in the precious metal that whispers of the Earth's secrets, serves as a reminder of the intricate dance between the creation and destruction that defines our world. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you to our channel members.